I'm on the road again. I've booked a performance in Philadelphia, a city where America's past and present have managed a very successful marriage. It's a city rich in history that has managed to somehow hold on to its historical riches. You can almost see Ben Franklin strolling through the cobblestone streets, exclaiming, perhaps apocryphally, that beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. My first stop is the Reading Terminal Market to bask in the local flavor. Nestled in the middle is Miller's Twist, where I watch a pile of dough become a mouth-watering delicacy right before my astonished eyes. The journey from doughy blob to browned perfection doesn't take more than a few minutes. And the result? Okay, it's not beer, but it is a pretzel. God, what a pretzel. The locals are performing some strange ritualistic dance. Perhaps it's a fertility ritual. But I only have eyes for my pretzel. <laughs> I could eat another one, or six, but I have to get to the club and get to work, so off I go. On my way, it's obvious that the love affair that our founding fathers had with our favorite beverage lives on with Philly's current inhabitants. The Nodding Head Brewery and Restaurant beckons me inside, displaying a very tempting list of in-house brews from which to choose. But I know there's no way to get through that list and be in any kind of shape to do my show tonight, so uh, promising to return, I bid the Nodding Head adieu. I didn't expect that Philly had anything beer-related that I could indulge in just prior to a performance, but this city is full of surprises. I've just stumbled upon Home Sweet Homebrew, a homebrewer's store, supply store. Uh, George Hummel's inside. We're going to go talk to him. Come on in. George very graciously tells me all about his shop. And it was actually started by friends of mine in 1986 because that's how you got good beer in Philadelphia in 1986. They have everything you could possibly need to set up your own nano brewery. And I mean everything. Bottles, glasses, herbs and spices. You want malt? They got malt. Something like a uh, hundred kinds of malt. And almost a hundred varieties of hops. And just about every kind of flavoring and ingredient that you could possibly imagine. Oh yeah, and two big fat cats. This place is a home brewer's paradise. When did you start brewing beer? About 1984. What, uh, what convinced you to do it? I couldn't get good beer. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I had to drive to Washington, D.C. to get a six pack of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was a little far for a beer run. The hobby tends to draw two kinds of people technical people and creative people. Um, because it is one of the few disciplines where both art and science meet. There's a veritable library of beer brewing books to be had. Not that making beer is impossibly arcane. We could pretty much teach any chimp how to make beer. <laughs> Over here we've got our beer kits. Our basic beer kit is right here, two bucket system. Our deluxe kit comes with a bucket and a five gallon glass carboy, which is in the box below. Inside the bag, we've got the various components you need in order to brew. Your racking cane, your bottle filler, siphon hose, blow-off hose, airlock stopper, bottling faucet cap or caps, hydrometer, and, of course, instructions, <laughs> which includes our phone number. Then we have our different ingredient packs lined up along here, our extra pale, our Kolsch, English pale ale, Bavarian Hefeweizen, West Coast amber, German alt beer. British brown ale. If he says you can do this, trust him. He seems to know what he's talking about. How much uh, How much investment does it take to start? Around a hundred bucks to get a you know, set up of equipment and your first batch of ingredients. How much space? 
enough room for a bucket and a carboy and a use of a counter stove and sink. I've only scratched the surface of what Philly has to offer, but I've got a show to do, so the rest will have to wait. Wait until I can give Philadelphia the attention it so richly deserves. So until later, my brothers and sisters in the city of brotherly and presumably sisterly love, think globally, drink locally.